morning and uh, welcome to the uh, second public meeting for our five-year consolidated plan for fiscal year 2020 through 2024 and also our annual action plan for 2020 for the city of Erie. I am Chris Groner, Director of the Department of Economic and Community Development. I'm joined this morning with Assistant Director Deb Smith of the Department of Economic and Community Development and Renee Lamus, Chief of Staff. Um, and so what we're going to do today is go over um, our citizen partic participation plan, our five-year planning process, uh, an overview of the strategic plan, uh, an overview of the 2020 annual action plan. Uh, we're also going to review the uh, supplemental funding as part of the COVID-19 response and then discuss next steps. And then also at the end, we will uh, uh, open up the line for uh, public comment to be made. <clears throat> So I'd like to start off with uh, a review of our amended citizen participation plan. Uh, the citizen participation plan is a document that has been established in order for the city of Erie to be in conformance with the requirements of HUD regulations. The plan sets forth the city's policies and procedures by which it encourages residents to participate and comment on various federally funded city programs and affirmative fair housing planning. The programs include the community development block grant program, CDBG, the Home Investment Partnerships Program, HOME, and the Emergency Solutions Grant Program, ESG. The City of Erie is amending its existing partic citizen participation plan under the Emergency Activities category for emergency activities um, because of emergency activities of recent origin it is the policy of the City of Erie to grant a temporary waiver for the 30-day citizen review and comment period. The City of Erie will advertise the project in the Erie Times News for citizen comment concurrent with the start of the project. In the event of a local, state, or federally declared disaster or emergency where public places may be closed to the public or in-person participation may not be feasible, the City may opt to conduct public hearings and meetings virtually via conference call or live web streaming. Accommodations will be made for persons with disabilities upon request, such as sign language or trans translation services, and PA relay system availability. Documents for public review will be shared via the city's website, and copies of the documents will also uh, may be emailed upon request. Further, the city of Erie is a federal entitlement community under the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development's Community Development Block Grant, CDBG program, Home Investment Partnership, Home Program. Uh, we're going to be taking public comments uh, towards the end. Um, as a HUD entitlement community, the city is required to prepare a, a five-year consolidated plan in order to implement any federal programs that fund housing, community development, and economic development within the community. The, uh, the community plan covers the period for fiscal year 2020 through fiscal year 2024. Good morning. Good morning. Can you, can you hear it all? I um, hear, it sounds like papers rustling. Okay. What I found is I can't hear anything on the phone here, but I, if, uh -huh. you, turn, if, if you turn on the if you're in the city, turn on that channel 1024. They're doing, they've started it. I don't know why we can't hear it on the phone. But you mean on the, the on the TV? On, on the TV? TV? Yeah, yeah the <laughs> government access channel. 1024, if you go on 1024, you can see and hear what's going on because they started just a little bit after 10. <laughs> okay, well, let me try that. Yeah. How are you holding up? Uh, Joe. Hey, it works. I see it. If the participants on the line could uh, mute their phones, please. If 
you are on the phone, uh, on the line, please mute your phones. At this point, I will turn it over to our Assistant Director, Deb Smith, to begin a review of the five-year planning process to date. Deb. Good morning, everyone. Um, the overview of the five-year planning process to date. We actually Can started. Does anyone know if they've disconnected this line? Take it off the mute. Hey, Chris, we can't hear on the Is Mike's phone unmuted? Mr. Mayor? I think it's star six. Yes. I, I'm not sure that they've unmuted it. You have to hit star six to unmute the line, so I don't know if they've unmuted. You are unmuted. <laughs> okay, now all of us on the phone will get muted. Okay. All right, can you hear me now, Mayor? I can hear you, Chris. Yeah. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, great. If you, if you could all mute your phones because uh, it's coming through here. We'll open it up for comment uh, in the end. Okay. All, right. all right, the overview of the five-year planning process. Uh, we started on December 1st through January 31st with solicitation of proposals Applications were made available beginning December 1st. Uh, January 27th through the 29th, 2020, we held stakeholder meetings. There were five stakeholder workshops for a variety of housing developments and service providers. The topics of the workshops were housing affordability and equity, community and economic development, neighborhood health and safety, health and human services and homeless services, accessibility, housing. We also had two public meetings on that day, January 28th, one was at 10 a.m. and one was at 6 p.m. Uh, there were 22 participants, citizens, and attendants at the 10 a.m. meeting and five at the 6 p.m. meeting. Applications were due on January 31st. Uh, they were reviewed from the period of February 3rd to the 13th. Um, presentations for the proposed CDBG projects were on February 14th and the 21st. The first, um, we published an ad on for FY 20, 2024 for the five-year consolidated plan. FY 2020 annual plan, projected use of funds, was advertised in the newspaper on March 16th. It was re-advertised on March 27th in response to the COVID-19 uh, resources. The comment period for this will end on April 28th. Um, an overview of the five-year strategic plan consists of the following in our plan. These are priorities for the next five years, as well as goals. Um, increase access to quality of affordable housing. The goals are provide homeowner rehabilitation assistance, provide rental rehab assistance, create new affordable rental housing, increase home ownership. The next goal was provide homeless housing and services. The associated goals for that are provide homeless housing and services, the next goal is, the priority is provide special needs housing and services. The 
the associated goals for that is to provide homeowner rehabilitation assistance, provide rental rehab assistance. The next priority was to improve public facilities and infrastructure. And associated goal for that is to improve public facilities and infrastructure. Provide public services was the next priority. The associated goal for that is to provide public services. The next priority was to eliminate slum and blighting influences. And the associated goal for that is code enforcement, demolished dilapidated structures. The next priority was economic development. The associated goals for that were economic development, revitalize central business district, the next priority was fair housing, education, and services. The associated goal for that was fair housing, education, and services. The next priority was to provide facilities and services in support of the pandemic response and recovery efforts. The associated goal for that was to provide facilities and services in support of the pandemic response and recovery efforts. Uh, economic development was also part of that goal. The next priority was planning and administration. The associated goals for that was planning and administration. And those are the uh, priority needs and the strategic plans and goals for our five year 2020 24 um, plan. An overview of the annual action plan for 2020. The city of Erie received $3,172,492 for CDBG. We received $831,284 for emergencies for home investment partnership and $270,136 for emergency solution. An overview of those projects are as follows. Uh, we, these are proposed numbers. We look to um, Allocate funding for acquisition of real property for $50,000. Public facility improvements, $489,521. Clearance is $200,000. Public service is $778,250.31. Rehabilitation is $294,500. Code enforcement, $270,722.97. Special economic is 365,000. Rehabilitation, commercial and industrial rehabilitation is $75,000. Miscellaneous other activities, which are housing services is $20,000. The total cost subject to benefit rule is $2,542,994. Expenditures plan to benefit low and moderate income persons is $2,217,994 or 87% of the total cost subject to the program benefit rule, which means that we have to have projects that are at least 70% or higher for low and moderate income people. And we are at 87% right now. Uh, general administration is $634,498. Uh, the total program cost is $3,177,492. For our home investment partnership uh, program, the city was allocated $831,284. Um, we have rental new construction for $178,235. Direct home buyer assistance is $250,000. Home buyer assistance and rehab is $159,921. Homeowner rehabilitation is $160,000. We have administration at $83,128. The city is required for home investment partnership program to set aside at least 15% for total set aside activities. We are allowed to take up to 10% for administration and 5% for total operating. The activity for rental new construction is our total set aside activity, which is that $178,235. Our next activity, emergency solutions. 
the city was allocated $270,136. We looked to um, fund emergency shelters for $134,447. Transitional living, $27,634. GCAC rapid rehousing, $87,795. Administration, $20,260. For a total allocation of $270,136. And these amounts are based on the ratio of the daily average number of beds provided per facility to the daily average provided by all of the facilities times the amount of ESG funds available for the emergency shelter activity. Uh, this allocation is based on the 2018 average daily bed count. These um, individual activities actually can be found in our 2000 2024 plan, fiscal year 2020 plan. It will list the individual activities in the plan, and the plan is available on our website. If you go to erie.pa.us, if you cannot find your individual allocation, please feel free to email me at dsmith at erie.pa.us, and I will uh, send you an email with the proposed amount. I'll now turn it over to Chris, who will um, talk about the COVID-19 CDBG 20 CARES allocation. Thank you, Deb. <clears throat> uh, so at this point, I would like to go over uh, the additional community development block grant funding and emergency solution grant funding that, that the city of Erie anticipates as a result of the CARES Act, the $2.2 trillion stimulus act that was in response to the coronavirus outbreak and infectious disease control. Uh, the City of Erie does anticipate receiving an additional $1,866,324 in community development block grant funding, uh, along with an additional $931,503 in emergency solution grant funding. Again, this is supplemental funding that is over and above our normal annual allocation uh, and is in direct response to the coronavirus uh, COVID-19 crisis. This funding generally, uh, the CDBG funding generally will be in four categories, um, helping to fund building and improvements and public facilities that could be used as testing centers, treatment centers, um, centralized patient treatment, uh, quarantine facilities and such. Uh, second category is assistance to businesses uh, with special economic development assistance third category is public services um, and then the fourth category being planning and capacity building we will be submitting our budget to um, HUD uh, this week hopefully uh, we're looking for a, a, a quick turnaround on this uh, numbers will be forthcoming uh, but generally the city looks to uh, fund areas uh, such as meal delivery um, personal protection equipment uh, testing and um, assistance to uh, businesses, wor uh, short-term working capital assistance, grants and loans to businesses that provide medical, food delivery and cleaning services and other such activities. Um, we'll be waiting on further HUD guidance on the use of these funds. Uh, it's our hope that this will be in a matter of days and not weeks uh, so that we can deploy these funds rapidly. Additional information on how these funds will be used will be forthcoming as soon as we are given uh, approval from HUD. And at this point, I'm going to turn it back over to Deb for uh, some clarity on next steps. Thank you. Currently, right now, we're looking for our um, public comment period to end on April 28th. However, that may change due to the fact of the additional funding. As Chris mentioned, uh, depending on how long we have to um, do public comments and the turnaround for HUD. But these are the proposed dates as for now. End of the public display period is April 28th. 
we look to have a city council adoption of our five-year plan and annual plan by May 6. We look to submit our plan to HUD on May 15th and adoption of the plan by HUD June 30th and the start of the city's program July 1, 2020. At this time, if anyone on the line would like to um, make comments, we will open the line up for comments. Please limit your comments to five minutes. Um, uh, please identify yourself as well as your agency. So the line is actually open for comments right now. Thank you. Are there any comments at this time? Hello? Uh, Edison Nicholson. Hey, Edison. Use leadership to the very. Uh, Deb, I got a question, one question, um, with the, the new allocation, will we have to submit a, another application or how does this work? All right, let me first go back and say that, okay, we're taking public comments, we won't be answering any uh, questions, but I'll answer, I'm not exactly sure what you mean, Edison. The proposed numbers that I gave uh, originally were for our original CDBG allocation. Uh, as I mentioned before, our consolidated plan and our fiscal year 2020 plan is on the city's website. You can actually download that or review that and allocations that we've made to various agencies are included in that plan. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are there any other comments? Is there anyone else who would like to make comments at this time? Okay, this is the last call for comments. Mayor, are there any, uh, are, would you like to make any comments? I guess I would just thank uh, the two of you and, and your staff for uh, moving forward and, and uh, get, keeping us moving forward. I'm hoping we can proceed quickly also with that new money, and as you said earlier, we're going to learn uh, over the next, hopefully over the next few days, all the rules that, and be able to uh, implement uh, that. So thanks also Thank to uh, all of our listeners. I know there's several people on uh, that work for local firms, and we appreciate what you're doing to help uh, the low income, the moderate income, the homeless. Those are the people that need our help the most. I appreciate what everybody is doing. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. Thank Thanks you. again, Chris and Deb, for all your work. Thank you. Good. Okay. Thank you. All right. I didn't know if we were going to. Not have any calls or get a bunch of calls because a lot of